guys welcome back to my channel my name is Chris if you are new here welcome and if you're not new here welcome back today I am going to be going over my sinking funds and my cash envelope stuffing I haven't written down the amount but I'll go ahead and do that so I have my sinking funds here and I also have my cash envelopes here I like to do my savings challenges when I do my cash stuffing because any money that I have left over goes towards my um, savings challenges so i'll leave that here to the side i'm gonna go over what i'm gonna be doing for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds and i do have my cash here too uh, i'm gonna be exchanging some bills as well so if that is something that you'd like to watch then definitely stay tuned okay guys so i am gonna say excuse the noise in the background pretty sure something's going on outside with the neighbors so I'm gonna apologize for that but the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm actually gonna exchange any of the bills that i have in my sinking funds here because this is going to make change for me to be able to stuff my cash envelopes and my sinking funds for this paycheck i did go to the bank and for some reason they were all closed uh, you couldn't actually go inside. I went to two different banks and both the same thing. So I could only do with what was on the ATM, to be honest. And the drive through was super long. So I was not about to wait more than an hour. Uh, no, thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange bills first. And so I have, I believe it is 600 here. I'll count it. Um, but I have $200 in 20s and I should have $400 in 100s. And I thought... I could make change out of what I have here to be able to stuff my cash envelopes at least and then the rest obviously put towards my sinking fund. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and see what's left in my cash envelopes. I can tell you right now that I have not labeled them. Um, I just got these little envelopes a few days ago and then I just put them in here and I forgot to label them. But I can tell you that this is groceries and this is gas because those are I always like to put my envelopes in order. And so I know that that wasn't going to be an issue. I don't have a lot left, to be honest. I only have this left. All the rest of them are empty. And then I don't have anything over here. So this is going to go towards my savings challenge. My savings challenges that I have. And so this is going to go towards my cash envelope rollover. As you can see, I have a pretty good amount in there of who knows what because I haven't counted this money and I don't I don't actually plan on counting it until the end of the year just to see how much I've been able to save just with the cash envelope rollover. And then the $1 challenge, um, I have one, two, three, four dollars left over and this is going to go towards my $1 challenge. I already have a lot of dollar bills in here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then the $5 challenge, I only have a few because I I barely ever have any five leftovers. So yeah, so that's my savings challenges. I also did put 330 towards my bi-weekly savings challenge. So that is packing up some good cash in my bank account. And I'm gonna count this money here just so that you guys know. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. 200 and then one two three four four hundred so that gives us six hundred dollars so i did grab the hundred dollars and i did grab 20s just because i know i have a lot of fives and tens um i wasn't able to get any 50s in the atm it didn't have any 50 dollar bills available which kind of sucks because i did want to be able to use some 50 dollar bills but there just wasn't any so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with girls i'm gonna count what's in here this is probably going to be a longer video, you guys. There should be $230 in here. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, I hate it when I put it out of order. So let's start off with the bigger bills. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 and then 20 and 30. So I do have $230 in here. It's possible that I could um, get a 10 from another envelope. 
I don't know if I really want to exchange the 50s for $100 or you know what I'll do? I think I'll exchange the 20s for 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so I'm gonna put these $20 bills over here. I am gonna grab 100 and now we have 200, 30. So that way, um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out because obviously I don't have enough hundreds to be able to do everything here. Um, so I think I'm gonna do, let's see, which one should I do next? I'll probably end up doing like the bigger ones. So cart maintenance, I'm probably gonna do. And then I know glasses probably has a lot of 20s in here. So I should have $250 in um, glasses. So here is $20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So I'll put these $20 bills over here and I already have 100 here. I'm gonna grab 100 from here. I just have so many fives here. So, okay. I don't want to mess myself up. Okay, so what should I do next? Five or ten, I'm sorry. Twenty. So I'll actually grab a twenty from here. And then I'll put these fives over here. So I'm just going to make myself some change as well so that I can make it work a little bit better to stuff my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So let's just make sure that I have the correct cash here. So 100, 200, 40, 50. Perfect. All right, so that's taken care of. Um, let's see if I can do household. So let's see what I can exchange in here to make it a little le less bulky. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20. I have another 20 here that I can exchange. So let's start off with that. So I'm gonna exchange these $5 bills for a 20. And I'm also gonna exchange these 10s. I'll put these 10s over here for a 20 as well. So let's see, we should have 240. So 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 140. Okay, perfect. All right. So I may be able to exchange bills for everything. I don't use prop money, you guys. I know a lot of people use prop money um, to be able to, you know, just do it, do exchanges without having to go to the bank and all of that. I probably should do that, but I just, that's just me. Okay, so here I have, I don't have enough cash in here to like exchange everything, but I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these two fives, put them over here and grab a 10. So I'm just exchanging the fives, 20, uh, 60, and there. And I forgot to put that I actually took $100 out of here from personal, so I'm gonna write that down. So back to school, I only have $200 bills left, so I don't know. I don't know how much this is going to work. I think these are the last ones that I'll be doing. So birthdays, I'm probably not going to do, but probably cart maintenance and maybe car tags. Okay, so 5, 10, 15 have another 10 over here so I have so 
So I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Just making sure. So I'm going to exchange these $20 bills for a $100 bill. 200, 60, uh, 70. I'm going to exchange these $2 or these $5 bills for another 10. Okay, so I should have 375, but keep in mind that I have $90 on online, so it's not going to reflect what it says here. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. Perfect. Okay. Okay, clothing. Um, I may just depending. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen. I have lots of tens and lots of fives. So I don't have any tens left over here, but I think I'm gonna do let's see. I'm going to do a $20 bill. So take those tens away and then 10, 15, 20. So I'll go ahead and exchange that for another 20. And we should have $85 in here. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. Perfect. Uh, yeah, definitely leave a comment down below. And let me know if this is something that you guys also do with your sinking funds to make change for your cash envelopes. This is probably going to be a super long video, geez. So let's go ahead. Oh, these are all fives. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to exchange this for a $20 bill. And I have 5, 10, 20. So... I'll exchange this for another $20 bill and I should have $70 in here. So 60 and 70. Perfect. All right. Miscellaneous, I'm not going to do. Uh, YouTube, I'm not going to do. Birthdays, I only have $50 in here because I went all out for my, mo for my mom's birthday. So I'm not going to do that one. Cart maintenance, I may go ahead and just put the rest of the $100 bills in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. And yeah, because the rest of them are bigger bills. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to grab the last 100 that I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm going to put those 20 over there. And I mean, I wasn't able to exchange everything exactly how I wanted to but okay perfect so we should have 540 in here 100 50 200 300 400 1 2 3 4 540 okay perfect all right so that's the last one that I'm going to be uh, exchanging bills for All right, that was probably a very lame exchange of bills. But now I'm just gonna go off camera, figure out how much I'm gonna do for it, my sinking fund so that it doesn't take too long. And then I'll come back. All right guys, so I counted, recounted my money just to make sure that I had $600 in change here, and I do. And I went over what I'm, I'm gonna do for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. I feel like I'm gonna have an extra $10, but we shall see if that actually turns out to be the case. I'm gonna start off with my cash envelopes and I'm gonna go ahead and do $200 for groceries. So I'm gonna to try to split it up here. Um, so 20, so we'll do 100 in 20s and then I'm gonna to try to do some fives in here. 
20, 10, 15, 20. So I'm going to do $20 in fives just because I have so many fives. And I would rather use that on my cash envelopes than on my sinking funds. So I have $120 here. Um, and I need some tens for my sinking funds. So I'm going to just do the rest in, in um, 20s then. So 20, 15, 20, 20. Okay, so let's just recount just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. And I don't want my um, small envelopes to be like super uh, bulky, but I feel for the most part, it should close, I hope. Yep, barely, but it did. So. That's my groceries. I still need to label my envelopes. I'm gonna go ahead and do gas. So I'm gonna do $40 for gas. Um, so I'll just do 20, 40 for gas. And then the rest are gonna be all 20s. So personal is gonna get 20. Uh, fun money is gonna get 20. And then for miscellaneous, I'll do fives. So five, 10, 15, 20. I feel like I should probably do that for fun money but I don't know all right so those are the cash envelopes that I'm stuffing I'm not doing anything for eating out and I'm not doing anything for household so those are my cash envelopes <clears throat> and then moving on to sinking funds so the girls envelope is going to get $25 and I'll write down um I'll write down my totals out off camera. I was trying to think what I was gonna say. Glasses is also gonna get 25. So, honestly, like I need to get new glasses so bad and um, I need to make an appointment and just start start doing that. Household is going to get 20, so I'm going to do two tens. I know that I'm going to need 10, so actually, I'm just going to do a 20, just because I have, I should have enough 20s. I feel like this is the most messed up video that you guys have watched so far from me. So I apologize. So for personal, I'm going to do 20. And I said I didn't want to do fives, but 5, 10. I'm going to do 20 like this. Just because I know the personal envelope doesn't have a lot of cash in it either way, so that should work. Uh, back to school, I'm going to do 40. So let's do just two 20s. Get it over with. Let's do two 20s. Put that with the 20s. Try to remain a little bit organized with the cash, but that doesn't always work out. Okay, so that's back to school. Clothing, I'm going to do 20. I'm trying to save my 10s for the other things I don't know clothing all right let's just do a 20 clothing is getting 20 I'm gonna need to get some socks like I noticed that I don't have good socks so random Car tags is going to get 10. So here's where my 10s are going to come in handy. So car tags is getting 10. 
Uh, miscellaneous is gonna get 30. So I'm gonna do a 20, 25, 30. Again, this specific sinking fund is for anything that doesn't have a category, but where I don't really wanna dip into my emergency fund. So YouTube is gonna get 10. So here is also where my 10s are gonna come in handy. Okay, birthdays is gonna get 40, 20, 40. Uh, cart maintenance is gonna get 30, so I'm gonna use the last 20 and the last 10. Property taxes, zero. This is all online and I'm gonna use this up in May anyway, so. Okay, Christmas miscellaneous is gonna get 10. So I'm hoping that I have enough. So, 10. so here's where I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna do 15 on each one just because I have an extra $10 that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. So I'm gonna do 15 for Christmas miscellaneous. So many fives. And then I'll do 15 for Christmas gifts and then I'll uh, change that in my budget sheet. This way, like I'm not wondering where an extra $5 came from. 15 and 15. All right, cool. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. I know it was super random and probably the longest video. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely leave a like down below and stick around for more videos in the future. Definitely feel free to subscribe if you'd like to do so. And until the next one, bye.